हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर शरी खान ऑफिशियल इन टुडे वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द सॉल्यूशन ऑफ प्रॉब्लम 10.4 फ्रॉम चैप्टर नंबर 10 नोजल्स एंड जेट प्रोपल्शन द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम इज अ कन्वर्जेंट डाइवर्जेंट नोजल एक्सपेंड्स एयर एट सिक्स पॉइंट एट नाइन बार एंड फोर ट्वेंटी सेवन डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड इन टू अ स्पेस ऑफ एट एट वन बार द थ्रोट एरिया ऑफ द नोजल इज सिक्स फिफ्टी स्क्वेयर मिलीमीटर एंड द एग्जिट एरिया इज नाइन सेवन फाइव स्क्वेयर मिलीमीटर द एग्जिट वेलासिटी इज फाउंड टू बी सिक्स एट जीरो मीटर पर सेकेंड वेन द इनलेट वेलासिटी इज नेगलेजेबल assuming that friction in the convergent portion is negligible calculate first the mass flow through the nozzle starting stating whether the nozzle is under expanding or over expanding and second to find the nozzle efficiency and the coefficient of velocity so first of all the information which are given in the statement will be extracted in the form of given data so it is, has been given that this is a convergent divergent nozzle the working fluid is air and the air adiabatic index is 1.4 it will be used in calculations further the initial pressure is 6.89 bar that is denoted by p1 and the pressure after expansion is reduced to 1 bar and it is denoted by p2 temperature t1 is 427 degrees centigrade it will be converted to kelvin so it will become 700 kelvin and the throat area is 650 square millimeter where the exit area is 975 square millimeter c1 is negligible means that it has 0 meter per second value and the exit velocity actual velocity is 680 meter per second while it is also given that the friction in the convergent portion is negligible we are required to find three quantities in this problem first the mass flow rate second the nozzle efficiency and third we have to find the coefficient of velocity coefficient velocity is the ratio of actual velocity to the velocity at isentropic conditions so first of all coming to the solution of the problem we will first check that whether the nozzle is choked or not for that we will find the critical pressure first so the ratio of critical pressure pc by p1 is equal to 2 by gamma plus 1 power gamma over gamma minus 1 so when we put values in this we get the critical pressure ratio 0.528 so when we multiply the value of v1 which is 6.89 bar so we get the value of critical pressure which is 3.64 bar when we compare the values of pc and p1 we see that pc is greater than p1 it means that the nozzle is choked so for now further to find the critical temperature the critical temperature ratio tc by t1 is equal to 2 by gamma plus 1 so when we put values in this, uh, this expression we get the ratio of critical pressure which is 0.8333 now to find the value of critical temperature we will multiply t1 with this factor so when we multiply 700 with this factor we get 583.33 kelvin 
the critical velocity the throat velocity it is also called the throat velocity can be calculated from the expression under the root gamma rtc where gamma is 1.4 r is the particular gas constant and for air it has a value of 287 287 kilo joule per kilogram per kelvin and the value of tc is 583.33 kelvin also the specific volume at throat is calculated from the ideal gas equation which is equal to r tc by pc r is 287 tc is the critical temperature which is calculated above 583.33 and pc is also calculated which is 3.64 so when we put these values in this expression we get 0.46 cubic meter per kilogram this is the factor uh which is used to convert bar into pascal it is 10 raised to power 5 actually so we get the value of specific volume at throat or the critical specific volume is 0.46 cubic meter per kilogram now further using the continuity equation we can easily find the value of mass flow rate mass flow rate is equal to ct by CT into AT divided by VT. CT is 484.13. AT is 650 square millimeter, which is the throat area, and VT is calculated, which is 0.46. This is 10 to the power minus 6 because the value has been converted to from square millimeter to square meter. simplifying this we get 0.684 kg per second now further to find the value of nozzle efficiency and the coefficient of velocity for that we will need some other data for example the value of temperature at exit so for that using the actual temperature ratio which is t2 by t1 is equal to p2 by p1 power gamma minus 1 by gamma so from this expression we will find the value of t2 putting the values p2 is 1 bar p1 is 6.89 gamma is 1.4 putting the values we get the ratio which is 0.576 now multiplying t1 with this the value of t2 is calculated 403 kelvin now using this value of t2 and the formula of a coefficient uh, the velocity isent at isentropic conditions it is under the root 2 into cp t1 into into t1 minus t2 so 2 into 1.005 this is the value of cp 1.005 kilo joule per kilogram per kelvin multiplied by 10 to the power 3 the value of kilo joule is converted to joule and the value of t1 is 700 kelvin and t2 is calculated which is 403 so simplifying this the c2 s value is 772.6 meter per second so now from the formula of nozzle efficiency nozzle efficiency is equal to c2 square by c2 s or it is c2 by c2 s whole square and it is further equal to c2 value is 680 and c2 s value is 772.6 whole square so when we simplify this the nozzle efficiency values comes out 77.5% 77.5% to find the coefficient of velocity simple is it is the ratio of actual velocity to the isentropic velocity or the velocity at isentropic condition c2s so 680 divided by 772.6 
it comes out 0.88 so all the three quantities has been found and calculated in this problem the mass flow rate value is 0.684 kg per second the value of nozzle efficiency is 77.5% and the value of coefficient of velocity is 0.88 so this is all about the uh, problem solution of 10.4 thanks for watching kindly subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed yet also like and share my channel thanks for watching please like and comment on my videos also subscribe my channel to get new videos